Costa Rica. What up? We're going to the store. So we are across the country on the Caribbean side right now. On our last hurrah. This is the Hail Mary. This is the Hail going Mary for, for big giant guapote. Looking for something big. And this is our last option to get some food before we hike up into the jungle and track some stuff down. So we got Lee and Mark. And uh, we're just gonna walk through the store and see what we find. Exactly. This is, uh, what the hell is that in, up there? Frosted Flakes. Yeah, Frosted Flakes, but in Spanish. Zucaritas, YouTube. That's the Zucaritas. And there's that elephant guy with the Choco Krispies. Y'all know what that is. This is my favorite soda in the world. Pineapple soda. You don't have that in the States. That's good stuff. So, Latin American Cheetos. What do they call them? Quesitos. Quesitos, that makes sense. And there's the Cheeto guy, but he's all Latino style. See that? He's got sunglasses on. He's rocking out. Let's go find some it. guapote. Guapote. Up in the mountains. We got the food. We got now the stuff. Going for the fish. We're going for the fish now. Oh, what, how, are they, how do you say fish? Pescado? Pescado. Pescado. Pescado with a D. Pescado. Yep. Pescado. Toby, what do we got there, bud? A real authentic Coca-Cola. And what is the difference from Coke in the States? Glass bottle. And this, the difference in this is it's just made with real sugar. Made with real sugar from Real Costa Rica, from actually. Costa Rica, which makes it even cooler. Yeah, so there's not all that fake syrup, all that fake crap. Yeah. So that's why I'm pretty excited. Up in the States, cool. they talk about the Mexican Coke because yeah. it's good. Yeah. But it's even better here in Costa Rica. In Mexico, they talk about the Costa Rican Coke. That's, what's that's up. how much better it is. So let's see it. Ready? Ready for this? Yep. It's like a whole different, whole different beverage. Yep. This is delicious. Yep. That's really good. Probably a bad thing, but I tried it. Yeah, you're done now, bro. He's gonna carry all the gear in by himself. That's really yeah. good. <laughs> that's really good. And Kobe, you get all jacked up on caffeine. That's great. And that's loaded with caffeine and sugar. You'll be Perfect. paddling the boat around by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I need it today. Come to Costa Rica. Have a real Coke. Have a real Coke. There's a man lower right there. Como esta la calle? There's a pool up here. Ah, okay. Okay, no importa. So we got a dead whoop out there. There's. They got a big one. I see fishing rods. As a chef, I'm freaking out right now. Don't lip grip it either. You sure? Look at yeah, the teeth. Check out the teeth. I know this is joking. <laughs> yeah. That's why they call it the freshwater cubera. That's a beautiful fish. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it looks like a nice white meat. Oh, nice With a uh, live minnow in the morning. Wow. Look at the hump. That's the hump. There's that sexual dimorphism. Yep. Big male. <laughs> Peep this. Wow. There's freaking guapotes down there. And big ones. How sick is this? All right, guys, we're here starting the walk down. Yeah. We got these guys in the we're truck. We're live right now. Is yep. this live? We're live right now. We had to uh, live streaming. We had to unload because it's a gnarly road. So we're going to walk our asses down this hill into the lake. What do you think, Kobe? Awesome Pretty cool spot. Ready to start. Look at that. <laughs> so, dude, first time in Costa Rica. Tell me, what do you think? So far, man, it's there's not really any way to really put it into words. Um, it's been beautiful, beautiful for sure. It's amazing. The culture is very cool. I really like the food, actually, which is kind of surprising because I was 
never a big fan of like Mexican style food at home. But what they have here is just, it's been very good. Yep. Totally different, very good. Totally different. Totally from, different. Yeah. From a culinary standpoint, totally I mean, all of Central America is varied. Yeah. But Costa Rica has a lot of different influences. Yeah. And we're just getting started. It's delicious. Because so once far. we get out to Santa Teresa, we're going to have a lot of really cool food. <laughs> I'm going to gain a few pounds after this trip. It's yeah, you will. Uh, and so far, yeah, the adventures have been awesome. We've had to work for our fish, but that's okay. That's part of the beauty of it. Makes it all worth it. So, yeah, oh, hold on. It's not. This, shot. this road isn't that gnarly. I don't know what Mark's talking about. Yeah. It probably gets bad. Mark's going through the gnarly mud pit. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, we got, we got, we good. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? We're good, we're good. Disaster averted. Oh, so, yeah, this is just fun. Hold it. <laughs> dude, what do you think about that? Just another day in Costa Rica. <laughs> that's right, dude. dude that's, that's the entrance to these people's house. <laughs> that's an easy commute. Oh, that's the things we do to catch a fish. Oh, to catch a fish. Efforts the one goes for. But it's all worth it. Because you know what they say. Said it's not the fish that you're after. That's right. Luckily, we didn't take our whole lives to realize that. I know, but thankfully. Huh? Oh, wow. What the frick were you thinking the first time you went down this thing? What am I doing? <laughs> Same thing I'm thinking again the yeah. second time. <laughs> documentaries about yeah. the jungle and the rainforest and this and that and you never or at least I never thought I'd actually get to experience it man and, and, now, and now you are and we are here and now the, the, the entire experience yeah, we're getting really it all awesome, isn't it? it's amazing it's it's so invigorating it, it is isn't it I can see why you left the states and moved down here man I, I love to me this is the most peaceful place in the world I just well Costa Rica is we have no army, right? Yeah. But just when I get out into the forest, man, any forest anywhere in the world, but there's something about the jungle, the rainforest, it just, man, it's just it's so good. The green, it's so green. I love the green. We're in the States. 
states were you from? I grew up in Alabama in Mobile. Bama boy. Yeah, I'm a Bama boy. Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, in, in Florida. My Sick man. Are from Florida, yeah. I'm excited to bring more of my friends, like that guy in the yellow shirt up there, uh, Dude, along yeah. for these rides, Look man. Look how stoked he is. He's it's running insane. around like he's 12 years old. Yeah. He's probably caught the least amount of fish for three days of fishing in his career, and he can be happier. Yeah, and he's stoked. Yeah, exactly. No, it's just, it's the whole experience, right? Yeah, it's just tough to get out of the bubble, man. Yes, it's the whole experience. Like, that was the gnarliest off-road adventure I've ever That's been on. Pretty good. No, it's... And we go looking for off-road adventure yeah, at home, no, you know? This is, I have to say, is one of the gnarliest. My buddy Joseph would have loved this. He's coming in tomorrow. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, he's got a big tundra well, like mine. Oh, dude. Back again. He's gonna freak out. Canyonlands is pretty, pretty hardcore too. We're all Toyota guys too, so to oh, do this yeah. in a Land Cruiser is sick. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's gonna freak, especially this because they don't have them in the states. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is fun stuff. You know, one of my favorite parts, bro, is to meet people like Gilmer up there. Oh, Completely yeah. different background, like we were talking about at dinner last night, right? Yeah. Totally different up, upbringing. Yeah. He's just as sick in the head as any of us are. He, he, uh, he has a fish on the brain. Dude, look at what we're doing. Yeah, he, This is nuts. This is it. I mean, basically, fishing is our life. The water is our life. The fishing is our life. Everything that revolves the, 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 the outdoors, you know? The, Everything. We use we only use a house to sleep in. Pretty That's much. right, man. <laughs> and even then, it's better to sleep out here in a hammock. It's beautiful. Gracias, boys. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get that. oh yeah, just in time. That's great. Whatever it takes, no excuses. Right. Look oh, at that lake, look at that view. Beautiful. Here we are, we made it. The crater lake, baby. Look at that, huh? Bro. Nice work on the freaking wheel, man. Oh, yeah, we are, Ryan. We made it. Pura vida. Pura vida. Some branches there, bud. Yeah, he's a... Hey, <laughs> you're you and mine. Mark. Yeah, yeah. La carga, la carga ni se movió. Viste? Eh? How beautiful is this? Look at this. You think there's any fish here? Yeah, it was cool when I could totally tell... This is wild, yo. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. This place is amazing. Look at this, we got bait fish up on the shore already too. Check it out. See him? Oh, dude. Let me see that, bro. What's wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Here, swap with me. This one's waterproof. I know, it's rolling. I know. Rolling. Dude, there's little cichlids right here.
just documenting some sick lip coding behavior. There's two pairs going at it, right in front of my GoPro. Yeah. And we're using a bigger Mojada to come outside of this freaking hyacinth edge. Uh, we're not leaving. Look at him. Looks like little Gilberto swimming around. Look at him, dude. It's fucking sick. And dude, there's like little freaking live bears everywhere. Like Ducky, Molly, Sammy, you know? Yes, this is where they're from, this part of the world. Sword bears, Molly, Duckies, all from here. So there's a former Aquarius I'm tripping out right now. Now look at here, they just locked lips. Look at him. Bro. Wild. Oh my god. Where am I? Hace cuánto, Wilmer? Like seven months ago, a guy came down on a quad to fish. No, no gear, right? Hand line with a chunk of cut bait, cut sardine, right off where we're putting in, and caught an eight kilo guapote, which translates to about 17 pounds. So let's see what we can do. On these guys today. Hot diggity! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 Let's no, do it. Go. Vamanos! Do Vamanos! Okay. Oh, Alright, guys. I hope you're ready for this adventure because this is this is probably the most wildest expedition I've been on yet with my mo my boy Wilmer right here. But I am, but I am, Costa Rica. Yeah, we're looking for guapotes. Guapotes, mas grande! Beautiful, brother. I mean, look at this. You guys don't think there's fishing? So here we are fishing inside of a volcanic crater in the Costa Rican rainforest, in the jungle. Craziest four-wheeling adventure I've ever had to get down here. And we've been fishing for a couple hours now. And honestly, the fishing was really tough. Threw some confidence baits that I figured would uh, trigger some bites pretty quickly, but up to this point, I had missed one or two fish on an X-Pod, a couple of fish roll on the war bait and Hazadong shad combo honestly man i'm just kind of in the moment here soaking it all in wilmer's putting me through these little hyacinth lanes there's jacanas walking on top of them there's macaws in the background the rain comes and goes and pelts us and the sun comes out and there's rainbows and double rainbows i mean sights and smells that i've never experienced before these are the kinds of experiences i dreamt of as a kid when i would watch these nature documentaries That's what's really amazing about these kinds of experiences. It really isn't about the fish. But you better believe we're gonna try and catch the biggest one we can. Guapote right here. 
followed the swim bait all the way up to the boat and missed it and missed it. And instead of freaking out, I put the bait back in the water and did a figure eight like I was musky fishing back at home. And look, we got a big ass capote. <laughs> Look how freaking beautiful this is. That was one of the coolest fish I've ever caught right there. Oh my God. Oh, Boomer, can you help me get the grass off? Yeah, look at that on the spark shad. Two days in a row, it's come through with the PB guapote right here. Look at that thing, man. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Can we wipe the screen? There's water uh, on the screen. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, boy, bueno. Look at that, boys and girls. That's my biggest gopote. Look at this freaking knot on his head. That's crazy. That wasn't my most graceful release, but uh, it's all good. Pura vida. Be alive, baby. Be alive. Time to get a bigger one. Woo. That's kind of fun. Let's do it again, huh? Say. You guys got another one. <laughs> Wilmer's like two fish, bro. Five minutes later, and it's beautiful sunshine and not a cloud or not a drop in the sky, anyway. Pretty good. Yo, I try to get it how I live it. A lot of people counting on me, kind of like a digit. It's a cold world. I'm not fronting like it isn't. It's no time for coming up shorter than a midget. Shorter.